Hey everyone, Lance here, and I wanted to show you another Arduino thing, which I just finished soldering. As you see, uh, I'm using a break breakout board from uh, Polo Olu here in Las Vegas. As you see, it's got a resistor. What kind of resistor did I use? Well, uh, one of these from, again, Radio Shack. It's a 220K uh, resistor. It's pretty sensitive, I suppose. Um, but, uh, I got the little sensor for about five bucks, I think it was, with tax. Uh, and the breakout board itself was only 95 cents, uh, which was great. And then you have, again, the resistor, uh, which I bought a box of, I guess it was five or six, or whatever the case might be. Um, and it was pretty simple to take out, you know whatever. Uh, but soldering, I used a, a pair of helping hands. Um, I don't know how helpful. And I used uh, this uh, lead-free solder. And that was probably the best thing I ever did, especially since it was kind of smoking in my face and I was inhaling it. So, but I wanted to show you this little uh, gas sensor here, which will allow you to detect gas, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, I did a junky junky soldering job um, but nonetheless I did do soldering <laughs> uh, trying to get better to start doing more electronics uh, but nonetheless it looks okay from here tomorrow uh, we'll get an LED and test it out and hopefully we can get some propane uh, to try it out it's uh, pouring here in Vegas but uh, just real quick you might be asking how do you install it well now if we had a breadboard which I do over there, but I'm not going to do it. You simply, in this case, because of our program, we're going to be listening to 0 to uh, 2, and so that's exactly how it would look, as you see. see. Just clipped right on, as if it was like a shield. So these breakout boards are great. And, uh, again, you could use it in uh, a breadboard. Anyways, thank you for watching, and that is the propane... Uh, Little uh, sensor from Polo Olu.